Okay. So, upon knowing the common Laplace transforms, meron tayong tinatawag na linearity property na kung saan, for example, inukaw mo yung Laplace transform ng cosine squared 3t, which we know this function is not linear, instead this is quadratic, since this is raised to an exponent of 2. So, upon knowing that the Laplace transform of cosine kt as a formula is equivalent to s all over s squared plus k squared, baka mamaya, masubstitute nyo yung parang magawa nyo tong um, Laplace transform of cosine 3t quantity squared. Tapos gawin nyo tong s all over s squared plus 3 squared, which is cosine 3t. Tapos yung sagot is squared nyo. By Laplace transform, this is incorrect. Okay. So, kaya natin sinabing linearity property, that is, the function should be linear first before natin siya ma-applyan ng Laplace transform. Which means, kapag binigyan tayo ng mga trigonometric functions with exponents, kailangan natin i-recall yung mga trigonometric identities natin. So, for example, if it is cosine squared theta, di ba para maging linear ito, hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit ng Pythagorean kasi Pythagorean magiging 1 minus sine squared siya. So, instead, we'll, we'll apply um, double angle formula kung saan doon natin i-derive si cosine squared theta, which will be equivalent to 1 plus cosine of 2 theta all over 2, which goes the same for sine squared theta, instead, minus naman si sine squared, 1 minus cosine 2 theta all over 2. Aside from this, we also have trigonometric identities for combining, for product of trigo functions. Yung um, sum to product or product to sum identities natin. We have sine of A, cosine of B, which is equivalent to 1 half. Sine of uh, A plus B, plus sine of A minus B. Meron din tayong ano, um, sin A, sin B. So, ito, sin cos, different angles. Ito, sin and sin, different angles din. So, we have sin of uh, 1 half cos sin A minus B minus cos sin A plus B. And then, we also have cos sin A cos sin B is equivalent to 1 half. Same nito. Ito nga lang cosine cosine. Positive, positive, negative yung sign niya. A plus B plus cosine A minus B. So, kung sin, sin, negative, negative. Cos, cos, positive, positive naman siya. Okay. So, we're going to use this if ever we will be asked for Laplace transforms that are not um, not yet in the first uh, degree function. Example, so we know that cosine squared theta is equivalent to 1 plus cosine of 2 theta all over 2. We will be given the Laplace transform of cosine squared 3t. We'll simply apply the identity, which means this will be equivalent to the Laplace transform of cosine squared 3t will become our theta. Substituting in this equation, we have 1 plus cosine 2 times 3 theta. So, you have 6 theta all over 2. The principle of common denominators, pwede natin tong i-break down into two terms. And that would be Laplace transform of 1 half plus cosine 60 over 2. Pinaghiwalay lang po. So, it's common denominator. And then, as a rule of Laplace transform, if you have several um, linear terms, we simply take the Laplace transform of each term. Iisa-isa yun lang natin. Therefore, by equation, that would be Laplace transform of 1 half plus, so plus, Laplace transform of 
cosine 60 all over 2. And the answer will be so this is the Laplace transform of a constant. So pag constant c over s. Constant. That's one half. All over s. That will mean one over two s. Plus lalabas lang natin yung constant. So, 1 half times the Laplace transform of cosine 60. So, applying cosine kt, that would be s squared over, ah, s over s squared plus k squared. So, we have s all over s squared plus k is the coefficient of the angle. So, 6 squared. Therefore, our answer would be 1 over 2 s plus s all over 2 s squared plus 36 as the Laplace transform of cosine squared 3t. This is their answer. Example number 2, we have the product of sine 5t cosine 2t. Therefore, we will apply trigonometric identity that is sine a cosine b equivalent to 1 half of so this is product to sum 1 half of sine a plus b plus sine a minus b so based on the given sine cosine 5t will be angle a and 2t will be angle b so applying the identity this this particular example will be equivalent to the Laplace transform of one half times sine of a plus b so five t plus two t plus sine of five t minus two t. So applying this will be Laplace transform of One half times sine seventy plus sine three t. So again, you have two terms. So we'll individually take the Laplace transform of each term. Therefore, we will have. Pwede natin ilabas na yung constant agay. Tapos, multiply na lang natin siya sa Laplace transform ng sine 70 plus Laplace transform of sine 3t. Applying the formula, we have 1 half for the Laplace transform of sine kt. Our formula again, k all over s squared plus k squared. So, we'll apply this on these two terms. Therefore, the first term will be k which is 7 over s squared plus 7 squared plus plus transform of 3t. Yung k naman natin dito ay 3. So, we have 3 all over s squared plus 3 squared. We have an answer that is equivalent to 1 half of 7 over s squared plus 49 plus 1 half of 3 over s squared plus 9. This will be our answer. Third example on linearity of linearity property, Laplace transform of sine to the fourth to t. So, since yung identities natin are in terms of our quadratic, our quadratic, so, since ito yung naka-raise to 4, ang pwede natin gawin dito is punin natin yung Laplace transform na i-base natin yung quadratic term natin na sine squared to t. So, gawa tayo ng parang para siya magiging 4. And that is simply by taking the square of sine squared 2t. Because by applying Lausanne exponents, 2 times 2 will be 4, babalik siya dun sa given natin. 
Thus, ang apply niyo natin ng identity ay si sine squared 2t. Wherein, this is equivalent to Laplace transform of so sine squared is 1 minus cosine 2t. So, doble nito. So, 4t all over 2 quantity squared. Applying loss on exponent, so square natin yung numerator, square din natin yung denominator, which means this will be Laplace transform of 1 minus cosine 40 quantity squared all over 4. Since may constant term tayo na 1 4, pwede natin siyang ilabas. Tapos natin si 1 4. Then, we'll have Laplace transform of 1 minus cosine 40 squared. Ang gagawin natin dito, expand natin siya. So, by binomial expansion, you have 1 squared, that's 1, minus 2 times 1, that's 2, times cosine 40. So, 2 cosine 40. And then, plus negative cosine 40 quantity squared. So, positive na yun. Cosine 40 squared. At since meron na naman tayo dito ang quadratic term, hindi pa rin tayo pwedeng mag-apply agad-agad ng Laplace transform unless palta natin ito ng identity niya. So, we have 1 fourth Laplace transform of 1 minus 2 cosine 40 plus so cosine squared will be is equivalent to 1 plus cosine double it also 80 all over 2. Mayusin natin, we have 1 fourth plus transform of 1 minus 2 cosine 40 plus 1 over 2 and half plus cosine 80 over 2. Next to this, pwede natin pagsamahin itong dalawang constant na itong 1 plus 1 half. Therefore, we have 1 for the plus transform of 1 plus 1 half. We have 3 halves minus 2 cosine of 40 plus cosine of 80 over 2. So, pwede mo i-distribute ulit ito. Diba? Para maging pwede siyang the plus transform of 3 over 8 na. So, 4 times 2. Minus 2 over 4. We have cosine 40 over 2. Okay, 2 over 4 which is 1 half. Plus, we also have cosine 80 over 2 times 4. So, we have 8. Since linear na yung bawat term, kukuna na natin ng Laplace transform each. So, pwede yung diretsyo na. So, we have 3 over 8s minus so we have 1 half times s all over s squared plus 16 4 squared plus 1 over 8 s all over s squared plus 8 squared so we have 64 and therefore this will be our answer for the Laplace transform of sine to the fourth 